Hi team, how to stay on track when looking for love. <clears throat> this one's important. I'm gonna illustrate it with a story. I'm on a second date. I meet up with this gorgeous, gorgeous woman. So right when I get out of the car to meet her for this hike, she is wearing leggings, has her stomach exposed, and a tank top. And I am not lying when I say my eyes are like leaving their eye sockets. Like physically, I'm like in love. I'm like ready to get married. Like this is it. Like I found the most beautiful woman on the planet. And I'm just like, I cannot believe I'm on this date. Like she is gorgeous. 10 out of 10 attractiveness. I'm like, woo. Now we start going on this hike and we're talking and an hour in, like, I'm just like, wow, like, we have so much in common. I'm having fun. She has great energy. She's happy. She has her act together. Like, this is great. Then we get to the halfway part of the hike. And I'm like, why don't we take a break and enjoy this view? We'll sit down. We've got this, like, we're on this amazing cliff looking down in the ocean in California. Unbelievable. So we sit down. And then we start going deeper. And I start finding out some more information. Number one, she says in six months, she's moving to Sarasota, Florida. That's across the country. That's pretty far. Number two, she works a lot. She just started a business, doesn't really have time to date. And then number three, she just got out of an engagement four months ago. She's saying, she's stating to me she's ready for a relationship now. I don't know. Just got out of a, an engagement four months ago. If it was me, four months, I might have said I was ready to date, but I wasn't ready to date. I don't know what if she is. She could be different than me. Anyway, three things that were issues. So what could have happened here? My eyes were screaming, yes, she's great. My heart was like, she's so much fun. We have so many things in common. We like doing all these things. We're having a great time. But my brain, my brain had three things. So if a lot of you that are watching this are like me, in the past, I've been notorious for using these puppies. I definitely use this thing a lot. But what we need to use is this thing. This is always the question that I think's come up over the years is do we use this or do we use that? And I wanna tell you for dating, it's really this, especially the early stages, and for a lot of you. A lot of us get caught using this thing, and what happens is, let's say with this woman who's not really available, I keep pursuing or keep hanging out with her. And what I see a lot of women doing is they get attached with this thing or with these, and basically what we call this is chemistry. You have this amazing chemistry with a person, and I did have amazing chemistry and things were great with this person. And maybe you end up dating them for six months or a year or two years. I had a client, um, a, a potential client, have a, a 15 minute strategy call with me today. And she said she's been dating this guy for two years and she's on the hook with him, like is obsessed with him, thinks he's the twin flame. And I go, well, what's going on? Well, he's separated from his wife. It sounds like they're still living together. So they're separated, not divorced after multiple years and he's 29 years older and she's just holding on to him and she's like in six years I haven't dated anyone else I'm like no what are you doing here's the deal we got to listen to our brain when someone is not available no matter what this is feeling no matter what these are saying we've got to separate even if you decide to go date other people if your heart is still remaining with someone else, you will not be able to date. The, you will not really be available. You will not fully be able to get vested in this new person. Even if they're fantastic, you're gonna have a tough time. So you need to remove yourself from them to make room for this new amazing man that's gonna be good for this thing, good for these, and good for that. Make room. So how to stay on track when looking for love is listen to this puppy and when it's saying it's a no-go 
get out of there immediately. Don't stick around. This goes back to one of my other videos. When your life is good, you hold your high value. So even if other things are screaming yes, listen to this, get rid of the guy, leave room for your actual partner that's available. Right? Tell me, in the comments, have you ever stuck around too long? I know I have. I would love to hear if you have. And if you want to tell me the story, cool. If you want to just say, I've stuck around too long, I would love to hear about that. We've done it. But more importantly, maybe in the comments, is right, I am not going to stick around too long anymore. That's what we need to do together, team. I am no longer going to stick around for the wrong guy. Let's do it together. Let's be powerful. Let's be strong women. And do what's best for ourselves by using this thing, not this thing. All right. I love all of you. We'll see you next video.